Oh, good afternoon, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. I am coming to you from the uh, data center here because it's 108 degrees outside and it's nice and cool in here, not hot. Um, it's been an interesting day. <clears throat> Today is Friday, July 19th. Ah, you know what that means? That's right, it's my son's birthday. So happy birthday to my son. Um, and the other thing that happened today is the CrowdStrike uh, software update fiasco. So if you're not aware, the software, uh, CrowdStrike put out a software update last night and uh, it caused problems. So let me tell you about it from my point of view. So I was at home, peacefully enjoying myself, just getting ready to crawl into bed. And I get a call from the help desk. This guy's sitting right out there. I get a call from the help desk and they said, hey, we, we can't get to the intranet page. And that's just a little local web server we have that runs here on site that's got links for the hospital and you know, quick links, things like that, news information. Um, so I said, well, is everything else running? And he said, yeah, everything else is running. I said, okay, well, call, uh, call the application support, have him, have him check the services on that server. Okay. So he hangs up. Five minutes later, I get another call from him. He says, hey, um, we got the, the pneumatic tube system server is, is not working, they said. I said. Okay, well, I'll get in and reboot it. So that's usually what we have to do, just reboot that server. It's a piece of junk. So, I get my laptop out. My, uh, my trusty uh, work from home laptop. And go to turn it on and it blue screens. That's weird. But well, maybe it's low on battery. Sometimes it does that. So I plugged it in for about 10, 15 minutes. Usually that's all it takes. Turned it on again. And a blue screen. Rebooted it again. It blue screen. What the heck? So I went over to uh, my mother-in-law's computer and uh, quickly loaded our remote access software on it. And um, I got into work and I looked at the network and everything. The network was fine. There was nothing wrong with the network. I was like, okay, well, that's a relief. Um, and while I was doing that, I lost connection to my PC at work. And my phone started ringing again. Oh, man. So the help desk guy again he says, hey, we're getting reports all over the hospital of PCs blue screening. I think, well, that can't be good. So I said, all right, I'm on my way in. So I get in here. Actually, before I got here, I called the server guy and told him, hey man, I can't can't get into the, any of the uh, servers. My, my global protect, my uh, VPN software, we use global protect, um, VPN software is, is not working right. And uh, he says, okay, well, I'll, I'll jump in and take a look real quick. And uh, he says, I'm packing up, getting ready to go. He calls me back and says, man, I, I can't get into any of the servers. And, oh, this is bad. So he said, all right, well, I'm on my way in, hung up. I get to work, just start parking my uh, network admin truck, and uh, server guy, he just pulls up in his car at the exact same time he's getting out. He said, what's going on? I don't know. So we get in here, and uh, we're checking on all the, the virtual machines. Virtual machines run in this environment, and this environment. And uh, so he gets in there and he says, Man, I don't, I don't know what's going on. Everything's, everything's like down, and it'll be up for a little bit. Then it's down again. It's rebooting. And um, I said, okay, well, let me know if you need help. So then I get the help desk guy walks over to me again. He says, hey, everybody is, is saying that their their machines are locking up. I said, locking up, or well, they're blue screening. Uh, what the heck? So. I said, well, I don't know what's going on. So we're owned by a county. So I called the county on-call guy. They're like, hey, man, do you, um, you guys, 
having this happen over there? I said, what's happening is we got all these blue screens happening. He goes, yeah, it's all over the county. We, we, we're on a call bridge. Well, that's moderately comfort comforting because at least I know it wasn't me. Um, it wasn't just at the hospital and we were going to have to be the only two to fix it. So I got on the call. When I got on the call, we found out it wasn't countywide. It wasn't statewide. It was the low bowl. Oh man, so we, we still, when I first got on the call, we still didn't know what was going on. We didn't know what was causing it. Um, we, I, our assumption at the time was it was a Microsoft patch. So uh, it was not. So we're talking and talking and talking. People are just kind of reporting about what they're seeing. And uh, finally some guy comes back and says, hey, there's a, a knowledge base article on the CrowdStrike website, or actually it was a, a Reddit article pointing to this knowledge base article on uh, CrowdStrike that had just been updated, like within minutes. So we looked at it and it says, okay, there's a problem with a, uh, there's a bug in a patch that was sent out or a software update. And uh, all you have to do to fix it is just delete that file. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. Huh, well, um, and this took, this was like a couple hours before this happened. So it took us a couple hours to find this out. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna come over here and rest my arm. So we, uh, we've got the instructions and we're trying them out. And um, my, the server guy's workstation is, is totally munched up. So we're trying to follow the instructions. You boot into safe mode, you know, open up the command prompt, the CLI, and in the, you know, troubleshooting options, and this change to the Windows, Windows System 32 drivers CrowdStrike folder. And then there's a, a file C-00000291 star which means anything with 291.anything, dot sys. Okay, so we try to open the command prompt, command prompt so we can do that. And uh, it says, please enter your BitLocker key to access this feature, or something like that. So we encrypt all our disks with BitLocker. Well, doggone. Took us a while to figure out how to find the BitLocker key. And we, okay, it's in Active Directory. Um, most machines had that. My, my server buddy, his didn't. There was no record in Active Directory for his BitLocker decryption key. So that was the deal. Um, he finally got his laptop working and he was working from that. My workstation was never affected uh, even though I have CrowdStrike on it, it just it never got affected. So, not sure what happened. Maybe I'm just you know luck of the draw is uh, I I missed that update and I got got the newer update because CrowdStrike came out with an update like within hours. As soon as they knew what would happen, in just like a couple hours, they sent out a new one. But by then it was too late. Most of the machines had gotten it all over the world. Eighteen thousand flights worldwide delayed or canceled. Hospitals shut down. So, I, we got into our vSphere environment. He finally got into the vSphere environment. He started at the top of the list. I started at the bottom of the list. And since we don't have BitLocker on the servers, um, because it's incompatible with a lot of the stuff we do, uh, we were able to, to get in and, and get those rectified fairly quickly. As soon as you delete that file and reboot the server, boom, it's it's back in business. Otherwise, it just gets stuck in this uh, reboot loop and coming up with the blue, spe blue screen and then asking you what you want to do about it. Um, so enough of our workstations went down today that we had to declare a code triage. What's a code triage? It's bad. So basically, that's when the hospital declares that we cannot take new patients right now. That's bad because by this time it was about two or three in the morning 
just coming up on prime commute hour for California, or our part of California, on uh, uh, on a Friday. So, I mean, our our emergency department gets lots of traffic accidents on Friday mornings and Friday evenings. So this was bad. They couldn't use their computers. So we had to shut down the hospital, basically. So finally, we like I said, finally we, we got all the servers up. That took about an hour and a half, two hours. And then the help desk team, including our CIO to his credit, all went out there and uh, just start just hammering on the uh, PCs in the emergency department to get those guys up and running. Um, so yeah, I got called in at uh, 8.30. I got called at 8.30, got here by 9.30. And I didn't walk out of here until, what? Uh, about nine, nine thirty uh, in the morning. So I was here for about, I was here for eleven hours. So I got out here at eight thirty. Um, yeah, eleven hours. That's what's going on my time clock, time card. Eleven hours of OT. Um, and then I finally told my CIO, "Look, we're we're beat. We we got to go home and rest. So we we can help from home." You know, we can look up the uh, BitLocker keys or something from home. It's like, yeah, yeah, you guys go home and rest. He stayed for the rest of the day, and he was up just as long as we were. So um, kudos to him. And then uh, so I was resting and, you know, took a couple naps. I couldn't sleep. I mean, it's 9, 10 in the morning. I can't go back to sleep. Um, I don't know how the night shift people do it. Oh, and then later in the day, I get another call our tax admin. Oh, we've got two servers that aren't working. I said, well, which ones? We, we've got all the servers working. She goes, these are, <laughs> she, she's from another country. These are not virtual, these, these physical. Oh, crap, we forgot all about the physical servers. So I came in a few hours ago and uh, performed the same, uh, same deal with the uh, physical servers and uh, real quick since you guys like to see our tools I'm not going to demonstrate it but we basically this is what we call a crash cart and we have it's connected by a USB you have this little thing with a VGA connector and a USB connector plug it into the server and then you run the program and it looks like a monitor What's nice about running it on the laptop is it's connected by a wireless and uh, you can jump on a Zoom session and have somebody help you with your physical server. So that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, I, see? This crash cart right on it. Where does it say it? There's a crash cart right there. Um, so there was about three physical computers over there that were blue screen and I got those fixed probably within like 15 minutes so then I went over to our uh, pathology lab across the across the parking lot there helped out with a few machines over there and uh, now now this is where we are so it's about 6 30 7 o'clock I'm gonna wait for uh, rush hour traffic to die down a little bit and then I'm gonna head back home uh, once I check with the uh, help desk supervisor Maybe I'll just check in with one of the help desk guys and let them know. So that I, if they need help with the BitLocker keys, I can look that up at home. So, anyway, um, happy blue screen day. That's what we're calling it. Um, that's that's the update from this week. Uh, like I said, I'm sorry I don't have any like hands-on stuff to show you. Um, heat of battle, there was just no time to pull a video out and show you what we were doing. But, uh, I mean, it's exactly what I said. You, you can do a search online for, you know, CrowdStrike blue screen fix or something, and you'll find the instructions in case it happens to you. But uh, most of you guys are probably not using CrowdStrike unless you work for a, a large institution, you know, like an airport or state government, federal government. But, uh, yeah, it's funny. Later on in the morning, we watched... Uh, I think it was NBC was interviewing the CEO of CrowdStrike and uh, dude was acting like he was going to throw up. He was he was stuttering and oh wait I have to drink I got to get a drink of water. 
and uh, yeah, that was that was funny. So yeah, I I bet he's been, he's been getting hounded on all sides. So anyway, that was our fun and games for this week. That's what it was like to be a network admin this week. Is I did server stuff and I did desktop stuff. I'm trying to repair blue screens all over the hospital. And uh, sorry, my nose is killing me. Um, servers, just so you know, we have about a little over 100 servers. Uh, maybe 120, 130 virtual servers, and then a few more physicals. And as far as uh, workstations, it's upwards of 2,000 that are out there. So it's taken us a while. The odd thing is, is it seems like about only about 80% of our installed uh, Windows computer base was affected. And of course, none of the Linux machines were, none of them are running CrowdStrike. Uh, we don't have Macintoshes here, not supposed to. Sometimes doctors bring in MacBooks to do work on, but we don't support them. So, yeah, fun day. CrowdStrike, my favorite. All right, folks, I'm a little tired and punchy. Even though I got a nap, I didn't really get eight hours sleep. Didn't even get six hours sleep. So if you like what you saw, click the subscribe button, click the notification bell, give me a thumbs up. And uh, we will catch you guys next week. God bless.